morning. Uh, bit of a different start to a video. Usually I'm behind the camera. Um, but we're starting a new job today, so thought I'd change it up a bit. Um, I did mention sort of previously in a couple of last videos um, that we'd be moving to a new job, but I didn't want to say anything until it was like finalised so here we are um so the new job is six houses breeze block houses so they're not nothing spectacular pretty simple so the reason we've moved job is um basically we're a bit we're starting to get a bit unhappy with the work that we were doing um it, i'm not going to bad mouth the person i work for because you know, I've worked for him for three years, um, doing various bits as a de developer, like so, doing different jobs. But the, like the last sort of job you saw was that renovation job, and it just got to a point where we weren't doing the things that we should be doing. We would want to be doing. We, I mean, we're bricklayers, um, so for the last year we've been doing mainly groundworks and and landscaping. Obviously, we built the lodge extension, but that was a that was a small job compared to the, the site that we were on and what we were doing. Um, I mean, obviously, when, when I video things, you only saw the good bits. Um, so it was just it just felt right to move on. And we left on a good note, so I'm not, I'm not going to bad mouth them. Um, you know, this industry is quite volatile when it comes to work. So, I mean, you, you could have a job for... For life and then suddenly you, you ain't got a job at all um so it's good to build bridges and not burn them um and that being said i am always welcome back there if anything ever did go wrong so i say i'm not a bad mouth them it was it was a decent place to work for, and for, you know for the past three years and you know good money and everything else uh, but we want to do bricklaying, we want to be bricklayers, we are bricklayers, so it just it just makes sense to um to to move on. So yeah, um bit a bit nervous actually this morning. Um don't know if you ever get like this when you um you start a new job. Um I was a little bit of, of nervousness I think and for me, it's, I mean, getting there and making sure everything's been organised. I mean, I looked at the job like three weeks ago. Um, I knew about it before then, but I actually went and looked at the site three weeks ago because it is a bit of a trek. Um, I just hope in the meantime it's it's been it's been sorted like it should have. Um, that's what I'm nervous about. Um, because nobody wants to waste the time travelling, get there and realise there's... There's nothing to do so it's currently it's 10 to 7 i'm gonna go pick ash up and i'll uh i'll show you the job when we get there
God, I haven't had this on in a while. <laughs> like I've got a block on my head. I remember when I first started wearing it, my neck was sore. <laughs> I might buy an hard hat that ain't got all clobber on it, just just for the camera. It's a shame it don't attach to your cat. Now that clip I've got probably would, but I don't know how stable it'd be. Probably. I should have got one of them hard hats out at Skip that they chucked away. Ooh. It's your fin, what they call it? What it? That crack. Oh, there's a worm in Gobbo. What's it? Oh, I think it's dead. What are you putting worms in mix for? What? What are you putting worms in mix for? Can you imagine if old Walter had found that? He'd have put it in his pocket for fishing, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'd be better if it were live, mate. <laughs> Well, they use dead ends and all, don't they? Well, it's that size, probably don't garden up for worms. <laughs> yeah, all his father's got a worm farm. For worms. Oh, wow. All his father. Because he's into fishing. Right. Right. Um, it's called a wormery or something like that. It's basically like a load of plastic boxes stacked up. It's basically a compost heap, but for worms. Oh, so we can use them as fucking Yeah. Hey. I remember when I used to go. Right, on a weekend, there'd be many a time he'd be chuffing up to his elbows in soil, pulling these worms out. It's like chuffing.
Max, are you sure? Go on then, if you think we need one, chuck one in. I'm not sure how much we're going to have this. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Right, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. Don't throw one in. Sounds worse than what it is on that. Bit of insulation. No blue. Hmm. Yeah, oh, is there a lump under there? Yeah. Heavier.
Yeah, it's been a bit heavy, that. Oh, you know, it's good job it's <laughs> underground mist. Just gonna walk a bit messy. Oh, where's this come from? Does he caught it back at that? Yeah. What's this? What? Yeah, we need blocks. Ah. Oh. Bloody hell. They're big drops, them. Yeah. Hurry up! What was the food called for? Just there. The best it blocks off the air. Huh? I think it might trip. And he's gone out. Huh? Let's get out of this for five, it's just a shower and pull back. Right, here we are. Uh, you're gonna have to bear with me because I tried doing this when we uh, when we pulled up the other day, but the file corrupted or whatever, so there was no video. So this is going to end of the first video, but we've already been here a few days, so you just have to bear with me. But this is the job. We're in a place called Clay Cross which is just down the road from Chesterfield and here we are so plots four five and six here 
one, two, and three where ash is. This has got a timber floor. That's having a solid concrete floor. Um, so what day we're we on? We start on Monday. It's now, you're going to see this in the first video, which is be like Monday's video, but it's Thursday now. It's bank holiday Thursday. Um, so Monday we got that up to the brickwork height over there. Um, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday morning, we got these joists on and then Wednesday afternoon I mean bearing in mind I didn't get the delivery while two started this bricking in between and it's Thursday I'm gonna carry on beam filling but I'm not gonna video this because it's not enjoyable to watch or do Uh, yeah, see you in the next one.